still down at Crystal Beach and uh, come across a couple of people trying to help an animal in distress here. I'll only post this if there's a good outcome. So if you're watching this, something good's come of it, we hope. We got this goose and he's completely stuck in the ice, but he's alive. So we're just trying to, the guy I'm with, what's your name? Chad. Chad, Chad managed to get his hand underneath. So he's warm, but he's encased at the front where the wind's blown all the ice. So I think if we can get this ice off him here, off the goose, we might be all right. So we just, he's just slowly chiseling him off. I've got a container. Uh, if we can get him free to put him in. Get cold on, you can go on the truck, you know that. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So hopefully, we'll get this guy out of here. Man. I was gonna right. my dogs up, but now uh, they, they would probably end up uh, ruining this guy. Oh yeah, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be doing too good. I've been down here for like 20 minutes. So I managed to get my hand in right underneath here, which we think he's loose. He's frozen here where he's been peeing. He's probably hurt himself. But we seem to think if we can just chisel him free from here, we'll put him in the tote. God, nice. Another one? What? The whole shoreline, I bet. There's a whole bunch. Another one here. Oh, for Poked his head out. Oh, f well, we'll see what we we'll deal with one at a time here. So another one. There's more under the ice here. We're hearing there's quite a bit. This is not nice. Gee. On with our day. Yeah. We're still working on this one. We found another goose here buried in the ice. Uh, he's alive. And we just got him out, but he's completely chiseled. In, he's completely covered in ice. Uh, we're going to get some of the ice off him from in the back of the truck. Uh, try and get him somewhere where it's sheltered out of the wind. Anyway, even by the palm wood, anyway, it's just going to be for another 24 hours and the warm weather comes back. If need be, I'll stick him in a bloody garage. This one's nearly free now. Oh. We got you, buddy. This guy was actually, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, the irony, he was out hunting for geese earlier on and now he's here rescuing it. That is just irony. Unbelievable. No one can see an animal suffer. After about 40 minutes, uh, we got the goose free and uh, I might skip me. We got him in, Chad and myself, we got him in the tote. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Gonna try and get him defrosted somewhere. Then we'll let him go back out into the wild, maybe tomorrow. Just gotta give the thing a chance. He's alive, uh, but he has one in his truck over there we've rescued, but there's plenty more, we think, underneath the ice here. It's just uh, very, very sad, but we, we're happy we got this. We don't know if he'll survive, but we couldn't do anything without, we couldn't leave it without trying. At least, that's quite content there right now. We've got a bit of blood, but that's just little, I think that's just little superficial wounds. There's no major thing. Yeah, 